everyone, this is Pinchy Al at Pinchy Garage, and today we're going to be installing a shift box and shift cables in your Mark II. Not just Mark II shift cables, but we're using actually Mark IV O2J cables. So, as always, we're going to break, fix, and repeat. This is Pinchy Al's Garage. Next time! actually do this is actually have a five speed O2J box right there and then you're gonna need a cutting wheel and a cutter and some protective eyewear because you're gonna have to work underneath the car and you need to cut out pretty much the mark II box frame this guy right here so we got to cut here here and then try to cut in this angle same here and this whole frame should come out and then with the grinding wheel, grind all this down so we can mount it nicely. Uh, give it a coat of paint so it doesn't rust. And then uh, we're going to have to drill out, uh, make some holes on the upper frame so this box can actually mount correctly. And then we'll go from there. So let's start working. Alright, so now that we cut the bracket off, and you'll see here, it's off here, here, and here, all four corners. All that's left now is I, just, I would just shave this down and give it a coat of paint just so you stop the rust. And here, uh, there's a spot weld here and here. Um, I would try to just see if you can cut it at an angle or grind it off. I don't know how will this piece come off, um, but that piece has to come off. It's in the way of the uh, bolts to sit, making the shifter uh, box sit, sit flush so you guys can see that. So once that's in, the shift box actually goes in pretty, pretty much like factory. You'll see here. Um, once that bracket is already out of the way, it'll sit really, really nice in there. So we got to cut this out. Once that's done, then we'll actually make the holes what needs to go here to actually bolt the um, shift box nice and firm in the car, and then. After that, we're gonna put our uh, our exhaust tunnel back in, and maybe make uh, figure out a little grommet. Maybe we can make a little rubber grommet that goes around here. So I don't know yet. Um, I haven't gotten to that point, but this is the next most important piece is getting rid of this bracket here. So let's get to so work. One thing you're gonna to need to do for to modify on your uh, shift box is the these little points here. Just cut them off. Uh, they're actually in the way to getting letting your box sit all the way up and that's pretty much it because <clears throat> the only thing we need to worry about are these two holes and these two bolts right here once you get that you can bolt it all up so just get your cutting wheel and just cut them out as good as all you can right. now with the piece of sheet metal grinded down here give it a coat of paint same here paint it stops the rust just so you guys know now get your box uh, put in and see where it sits See how nice and flush it sits before you have to do any more grinding. Let's see if I get you guys situated here. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. Push your box. I cut off the tabs off the ship box like I showed you guys earlier. I'll show you guys what it looks like after you cut them. Here you guys go. Just Cut the edges off pretty much, don't need anything special. And it should sit all the way there. Now, I gotta notice it's not all the way in because of these two, two bolts right here. We need to make the holes for them now and then go from there. So, to do that, um, probably knock on it and see where. It, it makes a look because they have points on them, so we can see where they make a little point here. So I see where it made one here for me. Let's see if I can. There's the other one right there. Not right there. Okay. Cool. Now I got my spots here to drill through. 
drill through these two first. Um, probably going to be needing... Oh, crap. Hopefully I didn't damage you guys. Yeah, I did. Crap, my lens. Okay, well, sorry. But uh, after hitting it a couple times, it gave me... Um, two points here that I can drill through and that way the box can actually go through so you want to use small drill bits first to drill through these uh, spots and then work your way up now if it's not 100% aligned don't don't fret just oversize your holes and that way you can give you the uh, wiggle room you need and then you'll have the size that you want pretty much and then once you have this you're gonna have to figure out where to make the holes for the two back here and that's pretty much it and that's how you mount your Mark II uh, shift box, I mean Mark IV shift box and a Mark II pretty easy so we'll give you guys some more updates right now once we're done so what I ended up doing I made two sets of holes because I noticed that if I went too far back you couldn't mount the rear so I went further up and now the rear actually you can bolt it on now to the back but it's in there now nice and solid and this is an OTJ uh, five-speed shifter, so bolts in nicely, like factory almost, almost. Obviously, you got to make some holes and stuff, but not too bad. I had to make two sets of holes, <laughs> but I figured it out. Not too shabby for a first timer. Um, so the next thing you got the eyeball, pretty much the holes here and here, so you can drill those out and then uh, use some short bolts. So you can get the back of it nicely bolted in. And that's it. It should uh, be it. And that's how you get an O2J 5-speed trans. I mean, shifter and a Mark II. Not too shabby, guys. Probably one of the easiest ones. Like, easiest, easiest custom um, things I've done on this car. And they fit right through the tunnel. Just like this. Not too bad. So the next thing is we're going to clean these. I'm going to pull it all back out and clean them up. We got some actual metal shift bushings for it, and then I got the uh, the, the engine and trans to put back in and do the full mock-up on and making sure everything goes into gear. You know, we're going to do a quick test, you know, setup. Um, the nice thing is the lower radiator hose will go in like factory. Obviously, this you're not going to be doing it like this. You're going to take this end off and you're gonna plug it in uh, same with the upper one but everything is pretty much fitting in pretty much like it wanted it was part of the car like it was factory it's pretty cool um, again big shout out to fabulous for all the other stuff and pretty much a big shout out to VW Vortex for this because I did a quick research and there was a good thread on it so I was able to figure it out and take that take care of that quickly <laughs> all right guys Thanks again for watching this episode of Pinche Al's Garage, Pinche Al's Garage. and as always, we're going to break, fix, and repeat. So peace out.